Historically a ceremonial position, the role of First Lady at one point mainly involved hosting events at the White House. But when President Woodrow Wilson suffered a stroke in 1919, his wife Edith unexpectedly began to take on many of his duties as President of the United States. Coming from a large and humble family near the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, Edith married wealthy jeweler Norman Galt at the age of 23 and moved to Washington, D.C. When he died just 12 years later, she inherited his fortune. Taking over the firm, she developed a shrewd business sense that was to serve her well. Young and beautiful, she soon became a part of D.C.'s wealthy elite. While at the White House for tea, she met recently widowed President Woodrow Wilson. He was immediately smitten, and after a whirlwind romance, he proposed just a few months later. They were married in 1915. The new First Lady did not settle down into a life of leisure. Instead, she threw herself into charitable work, and when the United States entered the First World War in 1917, she set up a Red Cross sewing group to make much-needed supplies for soldiers. But the end of the war did not bring happy times for the Wilsons. In 1919, the president was left partially paralyzed and bedridden after suffering a stroke. Believing that the best course of action was for her husband to remain president, Edith tried to keep the full extent of his illness a secret and began to act as his proxy, taking unofficial stewardship of the presidency itself. During the final two years of Wilson's tenure, Edith exercised considerable power. She selected the matters important enough for the president's attention, reported his decisions to government officials, and delegated the rest to the heads of departments until the end of his administration in 1921. It wasn't until 1965 that the 25th Amendment finally ensured that no first lady or gentleman could ever assume the role of president again by handing the reins to the vice president instead. What role should the president's spouse have in government? 